I am back. I've been gone for like two weeks, so I was so excited to go to Trader Joe's. I was keeping my eye on all the different new items coming out, so I picked up seven of them. I'm gonna sample them, I'm gonna review them, um, and I'm just super excited to tell you about my trip in Brazil and go through all my Trader Joe's items. I'm Natasha with Trader Joe's List. Please make sure you like and subscribe to my channel. There's about $100 worth of items in this week's haul, so we're gonna jump in and go through it. I am so excited to be back. Um, I'm gonna shift this to the left, just so we can see more things. Um, this is not my first rodeo. Oh, there's some new items I set back there. Um, so we're gonna start off with the strawberries and cream gelato. I, um, on the play, plane home back from Brazil, they actually gave me some strawberry ice cream, which I was really, really happy about it. And I had chunks of ice cream and chunks of strawberries in it. So I'm excited to try this. Um, this does contain milk, wheat, and coconut. That's a shame. That means Simon's gonna have to eat this because I cannot have wheat, but I can have a bite. It's like two-toned. We've got like the strawberry color and the vanilla color, so the cream color. And it is vanilla bean strawberry with candied strawberry pieces. I guess, I would guess the, yeah, there's glucose syrup and that's where the corn and wheat come in. It's like such a shame they do that. But you have to be careful because wheat can hide in everything. So if you're doing like a wheat-free diet, just be careful. Um, but this is new. It smells like strawberries and cream. I have a feeling this is going to be so good. Mmm. <laughs> it's like a candied strawberry, which is like arguably the way to do it. I'm going to have one more bite. That is so good. I'm so sad that this has wheat in it. Oh my goodness. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Okay. This is delicious. And I'm depressed now because I can't really eat it. Um, these are... Um, press on nails, which <laughs> you might be wondering why I have these. And I think Simon, can you come here? Mm -hmm. Can you please provide an explanation for why there are women's press on nails at the house? I come back from two weeks and I'm gone and there are females press on nails. There's nothing that says the females. Okay. Well then why are they here? Um... I had to do a B-roll where you show the products and I thought it would be funny to have nails as pretty as yours. What are you going to do the rest of these? Nothing. So, <laughs> so just clear up, that was my hands in last week's haul. Just a bit of fun. If you didn't, Sorry if it caused any confusion. If you didn't see the haul, you have to go watch it because I didn't know he was going to do that and I like literally died laughing. You want to bite of this? Oh, thanks. You can't eat it because it's, it's milk, but... I'm not allergic. I just choose... I just choose not to eat it. Do you like this? It's really good. Yeah, the strawberry and cream bit's so good. And stay here because I want you to try these. These are brand new. All butter shortbread sandwich cookies. The guy Jeff who helps edit my videos, he sent me a photo of these and was like, are these new because they're like crack and I can't stop eating them. So Jeff, we're going to find out if these are as good as you say. So here you go. Oh, wow. Can you try and make less noise when you open it? I, no, I can't. This is quiet for me. I'm usually much louder. So they're like these little biscuits and it looks like there's some sort of strawberry raspberry filling. You want your own? Okay, just put that in there. These are probably gonna be on Simon's shelf because again, another product I can't eat, but all butter shortbread sandwich cookies with raspberry filling. That one's just sprinkling. Good? Uh, on a one to 10 scale, 10 being the best. I feel like shortbread cookies like soak up all the saliva in your mouth. <laughs> probably want a glass. Probably like a seven. They're a bit too sweet. Oh really? I yeah, whatever's in those. Which is very, very sweet jam or something. Do you find ketchup sweet? Don't don't you start talking <laughs> bad about ketchup. Do you find ketchup? Is there ketchup in them? No, but Not exactly. <laughs> but they are quite sweet. Okay, next up, this is brand new. Double cream. If anyone wants to make Shortbread and ketchup, let me know. I'm in. 
If anyone wants to try Amarena Cherry Goat's Milk Cheese, wait, I, sorry, my brain's <laughs> spacey. Amarena Cherry Goat's Milk Cheese, I'm gonna try this. Um, this is new, and I'm probably pronouncing Amarena wrong. My brain said I was in Brazil and everyone speaks Portuguese there, which is nothing like Spanish. And so I learned a few words, but I came back and I feel like I can't speak English anymore. <laughs> Which I think happens when you go on vacation in a different language and like your brain's always trying to like translate and then you totally forget how to speak English. Okay, so I'm gonna give this a shot. All of the food in Brazil was so good, like shockingly good and so well priced. Like the most fanciest meal I went to, it, it was like $65 a person and we each had two drinks, appetizers and mains. So it's crazy. Okay, so this is the Amarana Cherry Goat's Milk Cheese. Mmm, that's also very good. And I'm also depressed because this one also has wheat in it. It's in the glucose syrup, which makes me so sad. I'm gonna have to have a digestive enzyme after all this. Mmm, that is delicious. A really creamy flavor. Honestly, the Amarana cherry kind of does the same thing with the goat's milk cheese that the strawberries and cream gelato did. Comes together like really, really nice, so it's like a a truly creamy, like berry experience. Wow, that's good. Oh, sure. Another little piece. Do you want me to oh. try any of that? Do you want to try that? No, if you don't want me to. No, I'm not saying you can't. You kind of shoved me over here. I didn't mean to shove you. I thought you were in the midst of art. Here, you're going to have to eat this as well. Through the teeth and past the gums. Watch out, stomach. Here it comes. So, that's good. I'm also like, the weather in California, supposedly it's been storming for two weeks. What is that real cheese? No, it's goat's milk. I don't like that. You don't? Why? No. What did you want it to taste like? Have you had goat's milk cheese before? I think on top of these, it feels like it's the same. You need it's some, really sweet cheese. Do you need cheese. some ketchup to reset your palate? That's, tw that's twice. <laughs> How do you pronounce this? Turk of Terry. Tara Kafteri, that is what we're trying next. It's a spicy three, spicy Greek three cheese spread with roasted red peppers. And it's gluten free. The first wheat free, gluten free that. experience of the day. It comes in this little orange thing. I wonder if you could do like the viral feta cheese pasta with this. Okay. If anyone does it before me, don't worry, you don't have to give me credit. I'm not one of those people. I just want people to enjoy themselves on the internet. Okay, let me take a bite of that and see, I need another spoon. I didn't estimate the number of spoons I needed. Oh wow, it says like a very soft, soft cheese. I wasn't expecting that. It doesn't, like, it doesn't look appetizing on the spoon, but I bet it's gonna taste really good. Hmm. Mm. This would be good, a good remake of the feta you know, the popular viral feta cheese pasta. This would be really good. The Turakoftery, cannot pronounce that. But I love the design and that is delicious. And that would also be really good with like on crackers. Let's see, if there's, if there's some people that know exactly how to use this, feel free to drop a comment, but this is really, really good and it's dripping so I can't really see the, let's see, here are the nutrition facts. It's got red pepper. Um, Obviously cheese, some vinegar, I definitely taste all those. There is a little bit of egg, dried egg yolk, modified potato starch, sugar, a bunch of things in it. I think it's pretty good. I think it's pretty good. I picked up some flowers because these were just so beautiful. These are the ranunculus. I love them because when you put them in like a vase, they hang over and they look so pretty. So I didn't really know what colors I wanted to go with, but I thought the variations of yellow would be a bright addition to the house. So my OCD is kicking in and I dropped there's like a little bit of <laughs> drops on the counter and it was really bothering me. I'm gonna set that aside. Um, oh, this is one that Simon can try. This is P, B, and C, crispy cacao cream filled wafer sticks with a peanut butter dip. This is adorable. Lovely day for a dunk, don't you think? And these, yeah, these are, <laughs> these are such a throwback to like elementary school. They've got the little, like cont dippy container and then the crunchy bits right here, which are made with cocoa. Simon, mm -hmm. may I interest you in a P, B, and C? Yeah. Hold on. I'm gonna 
I'm going to do the opening. Oh, hell yeah. Looks good. What is that? That's the uh, PB. That's the peanut butter and that's the C. I mm. bet that's so good. Oh, it's good. I love little things. Like, if I could eat this, this would be in my purse because I'm a child. I like to carry snacks with me because when I get hungry, I am. How nice am I when I'm hungry? That's really good. <laughs> Just avoid the question. Sorry? You can go ahead and take that to your station. Thanks. Okay. P, B, and C. And I picked up more of the vitamin C firming body butter. One thing I missed when I was in Brazil is I could have tried to find like the Brazilian lotion and I guess I totally spaced on that. I was more in like the mood, I was just like eating and wandering and shopping but didn't go into any like, I did go into like one like home goods store. But I have to show you guys some of the bowls and things I got. I got like such, I found like the cutest shop. So I'm gonna do a post where I show you guys all of the things. The bowls and whatnot that I bought. Um, I think I also like that. Okay, so I did get Brazilian style, style cheese bread because one of my favorite like bites I found in Brazil was the pau de queijo, which is the Brazilian cheese bread. Um, and they did like this delicious pulled pork inside. And I was like, I think I can make this with Trader Joe's items. Like it's like their pau de queijos were a bit bigger, so this is more of like a slider style. So I'm gonna do the Brazilian style cheese bread. And then you buy the Trader Joe's. <laughs> this is their carnitas, which is oven roasted pork. But I, I it'll the flavor will be a little bit because this has a little bit of like orange marinade or something like that on it. So it'll be a little bit sweeter. It won't be exactly what I have, but I have a feeling it'll still be really, really good. So I'm gonna do the traditional carnitas, cook them, get them shredded, and then bake these, cut them open, and then you put just some of this in the middle. Oh my gosh, it's so good. So 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 good. So good. We we got another box of these. So some of the items Simon picked up earlier in the week. <laughs> I didn't realize Boo was sitting right there. I'll show you guys. Some of the items um, Simon picked up earlier in the week. And so when we just stopped in to grab some of the new ones, I was like, we should get another box because I hope those are good. I, I, for, like, I saw these while I was away and I was so excited because a, I used to like the Impta almonds, and then those disappeared. I'm getting really warm. Something's, something's heating me up. Um, I, I like the Impta almonds. Those have been gone for a while. So then my new obsession has been the Hue dark chocolate coated almonds, and these look like almost identical to them, um, slightly coated. But these do have a soy lecithin, which um, the Hue ones don't. So I, I'd prefer it not to have it, but that's what you can do. Almonds, dark chocolate. Um, the soy less of the, the, the <laughs> vanilla extract. It'll be in cocoa powder, maple, and they're ma they're sweetened with maple. Um, what is it saying? Maple sugar. So let's try them. I may have picked up another bag of these, just knowing like dark chocolate almonds are just a resource that I um, visit every so often throughout the day. Like I'm a little hungry. I'm gonna eat a couple almonds. They're good. I do like the Hue ones better because the sweetness of these, they have like a bit, they're a bit sweeter than I would like them to be. Now they are very good. I'm not gonna complain. But yeah, there's, there's sh actual sugar in them. Sugar in the dark chocolate, the first ingredient is sugar. Whereas the Hue ones um, use, um, what is the sugar that they use? It's non-refined. <laughs> I don't think of it right now. But it's not as sweet. Like the sugar has like a certain sweetness to it. These are still really good. Now that the chocolate to almond ratio is perfect. It's not too chocolatey, not too almondy. Absolutely love it. Um, very good. I like these. I like these. Some people will probably say they nailed it. I would make a couple alterations. I'm only picky on these because I literally eat dark chocolate covered almonds like every single day. And on that note, dark chocolate bark with almond, pretzel, and sea salt. So this will also have wheat, um, either dark chocolate, cocoa butter, dry roasted almonds. Really leaning down on the almonds right now. I'm excited to try this. Ooh, I wonder if I'm getting hot because I tried the wheat things and sometimes that happens. 
So this is what the bark looks like, uneven pieces of chocolate, and you can see the bits of almond and pretzel in it. There's a little nib. Mmm. That's really good. So I realized what's going on with the chocolate in both of these is it's not like super dark chocolate, which is more on the bitter scale. It's more on like the 60% dark chocolate, so it's a little bit sweeter, but still like really, really, really good. Um, very dangerous. Very dangerous. Chocolate lovers, be wary. This is very good. And I like the addition of the salty pretzel. That makes it good. This is brand new. Simon will be eating this. This is the organic lemon torchetti pasta. It's imported from Italy. And if I could eat pasta, I would be jumping right on this because it looks phenomenal. How I would probably do it is boil the pasta, cook it, and then I would just make a really simple like olive oil, some salt, and then I'd probably cook some peas and throw some peas in with it. Um, it's pretty cool. Like maybe a little bit of like some parsley. Just have like a really light, simple like just really enjoy the lemon flavor. I'd probably even um, get, what is the super thin wand that has a little grate so you can get some of the lemon peel on it. Um, I would do that to a lemon, so a little olive oil, lemon juice, salt, some peas, maybe a little parsley. I don't know if parsley's the right addition. You could even do dill. Choose your adventure, but add a little bit of green sprinkle and I think that would be really, really yummy. And then we picked up some sumo oranges. Oh, I'm so excited about this. These are back, these are the champagne mangoes. Last year I was like on a huge kick with like how to cut a mango. Um, and I just, these are like my favorite mangoes. They're called honey mangoes, they're also called champagne mangoes. They're lighter and they're softer. Um, they're just, they are so, so, so good. So you guys can check out my hauls from last year if you wanna actually see me eat one. Um, if you look at one of the first ones, you'll see me like Kendall Jenner cut a mango. <laughs> so that's fun too. And then I reprimanded Simon for this. He picked up like four bags of these. One of them's missing because he already ate them. These are the organic berry, teeny tiny gummy bears, basically. <laughs> um, they do contain wheat. So again, it's in the glucose syrup. So if you have a wheat or gluten allergy, don't get these. Um, but they are really cute. They're like little tiny gummy bears. Um, yeah. If you didn't know that Trader Joe's has these, a lot of times they're by the checkout or you can find them like above the freezer section. They're really good. I mean, as gummy bears go, it's just a ton of sugar. 54 grams of sugar? Simon, you just had 54 grams of sugar when you ate one of these. Is that bad? That's probably why he was driving so crazy. Like, it's energy. For driving. Is that why your pedal, your foot on the pedal was <laughs> to the metal? I'm gonna hide these from him. I'll find them. <laughs> Probably will find them. Um, and then this bag's new. I believe it's been this month. So it's got two sides. You've got uh, Joni, crew member Joni on this side, and crew member Jolene on this side. And there are like little corn earrings that Joni's wearing that I think is super cute. Um, and then there's an applesauce res recipe that says take an apple. Mm, oh, geez. Kind of hard to read. Jolene, your handwriting is awful. <laughs> well, there's something I can't really read, but that's it. Um, so all this, I think, give or take, was about 100 bucks because Simon did go earlier in the week. Um, my my little haul was 60, so maybe it's like 80 bucks, 60 or 80 bucks, who knows? Um, but I'm so happy to be back. Uh, I hope you guys didn't miss me too bad. Simon did a great job in this haul. Um, he will be sending out a real message to everyone, which I'm excited about. I thought you did a great job. Thanks. Really appreciated it. I don't know if anybody liked it, but I enjoyed it. And all the comments were all very sweet. Brought a tear to my eye. Did? Mm-hmm. Why? That was, that, that was sweet. Mm. And I could tell you put a lot of work in, and that was really sweet. Thanks. Thanks. So if you think Natasha should come back another time and do another haul, <laughs> let me know in the comments. Otherwise, this might be a last one. So, uh... Wait, you're going to take over? You know, never say never. Come here, Boo-Boo. Boo Boo is happy to be here too. He missed me, he was so excited. He picked me up from the airport yesterday with pot pie. So, oh yeah, so I'm gonna post all the um, bowls I got to my Instagram, so let me know which one's your guys' favorite. Um, Glad you're back. Good pot pie wants to be in it. Yeah, thanks. And uh, I'll see you guys around, thanks for watching.
Tia.